Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today this video is going to be a little bit different than what I typically feature on my channel, but I thought this might help out some people who've encountered this problem with their their TCL Android TV remote. If it just stops working, I have a really quick fix that probably will fix your problem. The other day, my daughter had the remote. She was hitting all the buttons and she couldn't get the TV to work. The TV acted like it was unresponsive to the remote and I had to end up using an Android um, Android phone app to control my Android TCL TV. Now, I have a six, excuse me, an S series 75 inch Android TV from TCL. And this is a remote that came with it. Well, I couldn't get it to work and I thought maybe she threw it. So I went out and ordered another remote. And of course that didn't work either. Um, there is a pairing option stuff you can do with these remotes, but that's not what it is. If you have this remote, and it just stops working and you, no matter what you do it doesn't work the first thing to try is simply this pop off the back and take out the batteries so if i can get it open here and just take out i have some different batteries the batteries that came with them i think may have been going bad and that could be part of it the first thing you want to do is obviously make sure your batteries in your remote aren't bad okay but if they're good batteries then go ahead and take the batteries out then hold down the power button for 15 seconds. So, you know, I don't have to do it for all 15 seconds. Do this for 15 seconds. Then just pop the batteries back in and see if the remote works. I don't have it here in front of the TV because obviously it is working now. But as soon as I did that, I hit, I hit some buttons and boom, everything started working. And I learned this little trick from TCL's customer service on the phone because I had bought a second remote, which this is the new remote, and I couldn't get to work. And what you know, they and they called me and they said you can leave your call back. They called me and boom, they she had me do this and immediately it worked. And I was able to get both this new and the old remote working by doing that. Um, the new remote didn't want to work either, so it's sort of like a, a remote reset is what I think it does. They also say, you know, you can hold down the Google Assistant button and then it comes up and I think it asks you to pair the remote or something. Um, I don't know if that, you know, I've seen it done this remote. That's something else you could try, but I never had to do that. Once I reset it, it just started working. So I don't know if that's just for a Bluetooth remote or what. It looked like this, but these I understand are, I think, radio frequency or RF. Um, I don't think these are Bluetooth. She said they weren't. This one was. So anyway, enough of that. If you have a problem with these Android TV remotes, first thing you can do, make sure your batteries are good. Second thing you can do, then pull the batteries out, put them back, uh, hold down the power button for 15 seconds, kind of clears it out, put the batteries back in, or put some fresh batteries in it at that point, and then put it back together and it should work. Simple enough, guys. A neat little uh, reset that could save you a lot of money or a customer service uh, call, or a second remote as I bought. All right, guys, hope this little tip helped you out, and I'll see you later.